Hello and welcome to Super Surfcasters YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about making a custom mount for the Mega Imaging Hummingbird Transducer. I purchased this fish finder because uh, it's been on back order for a while. <clears throat> I went ahead when it came in stock, I purchased it. I uh, The next day I proceeded to uh, buy a mount for the trolling motor only to find out that the trolling motor has to be an 80 pound thrust or larger trolling motor to fit the transducer. <clears throat> so I called Hummingbird and they said they did not make a mount that was used on a smaller than 80 pound thrust trolling motor. So I had just purchased a new Minn Kota trolling motor about a year and a half ago, power drive, iPilot, which we do a lot of striper fishing, so I didn't need a larger trolling motor than 70 pound thrust. So what I did when the fish finder came, I got the transducer. And as you can see, as they said, it will not fit between the skeg and the prop because the prop will end up hitting it where it's mounted up inside the skeg and the prop. So I came up with an idea to use a piece of four inch PVC pipe that I cut. I have one that I already cut so I can show it to you. I cut it six inches, six and a quarter inches, which matches the barrel of my motor. So depending on what size motor you have, you may have to cut that at a different size. <clears throat> and then I cut a channel in the top of it with, uh, I used a small table saw, which you could use a circulate, circular saw if you had something to clamp it with. You could also cut it by hand if you had, uh, didn't have any power tools. So I cut it. The, the slot in mine ended up being one and three quarter inches, which depending on the trolling motor you have may be different. I also beveled the edges so they wouldn't be, so they would sit against the trolling motor body. So what you'll have is something that looks like that. You have the pipe and it fits on the barrel of the motor which is basically you just make an extender so you can mount the transducer to the bottom of the pipe i also cut whenever you get your spacing correct i cut a slot for the tip of the skeg you don't want the skeg to stick out past this because it's going to hit your mount for your transducer so once you get the top cut to where you need it you can cut the notch to slide your skeg in, which I'm also going to flex seal, black flex seal this pipe so you can't uh, see it as much. But this little slot will also keep it from wanting to rock back and forth when you clamp it on. So it'll, it kind of allows like a little stop there. So it won't, it'll help from not wanting to move. But my next step is uh, going ahead and flex seal on it and we'll pick up from there. Thank you. So I got the pipe flex sealed, as you can see, it turned out good. Can't hardly even tell, it's uh, got the same texture even as the housing of the motor. I went ahead and uh, mounted the transducer to the bracket that it comes with. My, this model had eight screws to mount from the backside. It has a little place for your wire to come out. I went ahead and zip tied it to the pipe clamp there. And then I drilled a small hole in the top of the skeg and zip tied it just to keep it out of the way. I did have to, uh, the pipe clamps that come with it won't be long enough since we added this other piping in between. So I went and got a inch and a half pipe clamp, opened both pipe clamps up and attached them together. So you'll have one of the original pipe clamps and one of the small pipe clamps, and then you can use it as an extension. So that way it'll fit all the way around the motor and the pipe. 
So I went ahead and put this side on. You can kind of see, you just trim off your excess you have. And then you want to make sure in the directions, it has this little slot. It says to line it up with your skeg. But that was made for a motor. The directions are made for a motor that were designed for this mount. Where we're trying to adapt this mount to a motor it wasn't designed to go to. You have to make sure the rounded part of the transducer is facing forward to, to the front of your boat, out in front of your, in the water. <clears throat> this is the back. So I'm assuming on a different motor, the skeg must be back here by the prop. So you'd put that notch in your skeg and this would be forward. But on this motor, the skeg's in the front. So just be sure that the rounded, the front part of the transducer is facing forward. And you can see you got plenty of plenty of room that it clears. So I guess uh, next thing we'll do is uh, tighten this up and we'll go try it on the water. If you have any questions or comments about this build, uh, let me know below. Thanks for watching Suba Surfcasters. Hope this helps you out.